Hi, I'm Brent Whistler from Merit Solutions. I'm here to talk to you today about managing the burden of compliance using Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. After many, many corporate scandals, compliance requirements have mushroomed and created monumental hurdles for companies of all sizes. Though Sarbanes-Oxley and other regulations may seem to have created a challenging world for business leaders, internal controls, whether put in place by government regulation, due to stockholder demands, or just as a result of good business management, are vital to a business's success. Observance of rules, conformity in processes, and monitoring of business procedures are cornerstones of compliance. Sometimes it's difficult for us to agree what compliance even means, but in general it means adhering to certain rules or laws or following required standard, standardized processes. Some components of compliance in a business environment are standard operating procedures, documented transactions and audit trails, data integrity, excuse me, data integrity, and segregation of duties and responsibilities. So this demonstration walks through the setup of new documentation procedures in the compliance center. In this demo, we will associate documentation with a process to describe the controls put into place in the business application. We'll also look at how we can document and associate a control with vendor disbursements. It's important to recognize that compliance is many things. For example, making sure that products are manufactured to a specific standard. This is where features such as the new quality control module can help. Right now we're going to flip over to the compliance tab. So first I want to take you through the compliance center and describe how this can be used to manage your process documentation. One of the important aspects of the system is its ability to show how we are putting in effective controls to manage the risk. For example, managing payments or disbursements to vendors needs to be done so that we have separation of duties and the appropriate approvals are in place. As a CFO, I can log on here and get a status of how we are uh, progressing with our internal controls through the Compliance Center. It's a subsite of the Enterprise Portal and it's uh, a Microsoft SharePoint Services document repository and that's the perfect tool for centrally locating documentation. This is the first place I point the auditor to when they come in each quarter. For example, the chart titled Document Status shows how things are going with the setup of our processes because it's an ongoing process setting up um, internal controls. The Control Effectiveness chart tracks our progress with implementing control for identified risks in the system. Now we can establish an organizational structure that can be used to manage the processes. This may match the whole company in question, or maybe just a part of the, or a department or a part of the division structure. So let's configure the control environment. So you can see here our general group structure. We have done some internal restructuring for accounting purposes and we've established three regions in the U.S. East, Central, and West. And the West region is a new region that we want to set up processes for. By using the document template, I can set up the structure of my documentation. You'll notice that if we have a process, that, uh, that we'll need to identify any risk associated with that process and what controls to put into place. After these two areas are set up, we can uh, go ahead and enter our controls. So let's go to internal controls. You can see here in the uh, control overview that we already have a lot of documentation in place. This gives me a comprehensive list, which provides value by having all documentation information centrally located. Great for the auditors, right? They come right in and know exactly where they need to go. So I'm just going to collapse a few of these nodes, since right now all I want to look at is the west region. Because as you can see, we haven't put any documentation in place yet for the West region. So now we're going to enter the West, uh, the process for the West region for vendor disbursements. So let's 
click on the West region and create a new document. And we'll call it uh, Vendor Disbursements. And it's a process. All right, so um, now you can see my new vendor disbursements document. And now I want to enter the associated risk with this process. The identified risk is that we don't want vendor payments to be made without an approval process. So let's call this document issuing unapproved vendor disbursements. And this is a risk. And I hope you understand what we're doing here is we're sort of uh, documenting a risk so that we can mitigate it. So with the risk highlighted, let's go ahead and create a, a document underneath that risk. And it's going to be our control. What do we do to control this risk? And we're going to call it mm, something intuitive like approval workflow required. And in a future demo, we can set up some of these workflows and some approval processes. Oh, yes, okay, I did set that up as a control. All right, so we have now in the West region documented some processes. We've got vendor disbursements, and um, one of our, our risks for vendor disbursements is issuing unapproved vendor disbursements, and so uh, our process documents that we have to have a workflow, I mean, an approval workflow. So let's go ahead and edit that internal control. All right, so when I drill into the control, you see the documentation stages. This is our audit trail of who completed which steps. Let's just scroll down a little bit. Documentation, test, review, and sign off. Um, and Notice that we can also attach evidence of the control. We can leave the documentation here for the moment and come back to it. We now have to implement the control in the business application, which we're going to do in a later demo. Later we can come back and provide the evidence that we have implemented the control. So in this demonstration, we have described the basic processes and the tools that are available within the Compliance Center to document our internal processes, risk, and associated controls. The next step is to implement the controls in the business application.